Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting. I thought I would uh, do a quick share uh, just of some Valentine's Day cards, maybe um, inspire me a little bit to uh, what I want to create this year for Valentine's Day. And I thought maybe in the process it might inspire you as well. And then I also pulled out some whippersnapper stamps um, to share with you that are kind of Valentine's Day or early spring specific. And uh, so we'll take a look at those too. But first, let me share some of these cards with you here. Um, so this is one that I made with a retired Tailored Expressions stamp and die set. Uh, this was from a Valentine's Day uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, I just thought this was a really cute little image here. Um, the set came with not only the jar that you could stamp, but then it had several different um, images that you could stamp inside the jar. So I thought um, if you have a canning jar or something similar, uh, you could stamp a jar and then stamp a few little images. Even if you have alphabet stickers, you could X and O um, fill the jar with X's and O's. And, uh, or you could use alphabet stamps. Um, but I thought this was a cute little um, card to kind of inspire us to create something for Valentine's Day. I love the color palette of this one. And um, it was fun to pull out some of these patterned papers here too that have some surprising colors in them like this uh, pretty um, sage green. So I thought that might be a fun color to incorporate into Valentine's Day this year. And then this is a card that I made with a stamp from my friend Joanne that she sent to me last year. It's this stamp here. It happens to still be sitting here by my desk. <laughs> so easy to grab. This was a stamp that she sent to me from Paper Source. And so thank you so much, Joanne. And uh, there she gave it to me for Valentine's Day last year. And uh, so what I did was basically uh, choose several different colors of pink inks from my collection and then stamp the stamp in each uh, different color ink as I made my way up the card panel. And that gave me this fun ombre effect of all those little hearts. And then this is one of my dies from Impression Obsession. This is the uh, Pinked Stitched Sentiment Banner set. You get three different sentiment banners of different widths. And um, this is one of my whippersnapper stamps. Uh, I'm so glad we're friends. And then uh, just a little stuffy, puffy heart that I picked up somewhere. Oh, actually, maybe Joanne sent it to me for Valentine's Day when she sent me the stamps. So, fun idea. Uh, this is another uh, really fun idea. I, this is actually what I might um, lean towards this year. This is my nine patch quilt block die from Impression Obsession. I really love using the quilt patches um, be, with all the different pattern papers that I have. It's really easy to get a really beautiful quilt design using pattern papers. So this is just three different pattern papers. Um, so I cut the die three times in different papers and then I can switch them um, and have three different card fronts really quickly. So um, and then once I had the um, little patch here assembled I just kind of inked the edges to kind of give it an antique look around the outside edge and then this love is from my die set called Valentine Words and it's also from Impression Obsession and then this is one of my paper button dies as well so <clears throat> I think the uh, quilt patch dies are always really fun to use uh, here's a card I made using some punches and uh, maybe a couple little die sprigs there uh, but this is a heart punch um, and I just used pattern paper as well so that makes for a really quick and easy card and this is a retired Stampin' Up! stamp so that's a cute card to make and really easy if you need to make a bunch of cards this is a good um, good layout to use and here is one of my favorite painted images. This is an old Penny Black stamp. And uh, I just love those two little piggies. And I really love how this image um, painting turned out. So I usually pull this one out in the spring to kind of inspire me to paint with bright, um, bright and light colors. So really cute image, isn't it? And then last card I have to share with you is this one here. This was a stamp image that Jill Norwood sent to me last year. Um, I don't know the name of the stamp and I can't remember offhand the name of the website. Stamp it maybe? Stamp it? <clears throat> um, but maybe Jill will leave a comment down below and remind us uh, who this image is from and maybe what it's called. Uh, but she's an adorable little girl there with her um, wings and a little heart on her um, apron and on the, her dress collar as well. Cute, cute, and I love that she's got little jingle bells for feet. <laughs> 
and uh, this inside of the card is blank. And then on the back, I signed that and added the gold panel here as well. So I thought that was a cute little image. And since it had little hearts on it, I thought it might be sweet to um, have that on hand uh, for inspiration for Valentine's Day. So those are some cards I have to share with you. Um, maybe you find something in there that inspires you for the season. And then I'll just share a couple of my Whippersnapper stamps with you. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I pulled out Bentley's birthday, not necessarily for Valentine's Day, but for some of those early in the year birthdays. And he's just a cute little bear with a fun balloon. And um, to go along with him, uh, here is I Barely Missed Your Special Day, <laughs> uh, in case I'm a little late to getting some cards out for uh, birthdays. And then Friends Like You Make Life Bearable. So this one is called Life Bearable from Whippersnapper Designs. And this one is called uh, Barely Missed from Whippersnapper. So there's those. And then <clears throat> I also pulled out um, these to share with you. So here's a spring themed coffee cup. And these are really fun to use if you're gonna be gifting somebody a coffee card for their birthday. Uh, these are really easy to cut out. Uh, once you have the image stamp, it's, stamped, it's really easy to cut out. And uh, they just make for a really cute card. So there's spring border coffee. And then here's bee coffee. And I love this one with the little heart here. And let me see if I can change my lighting a little bit. Then here is Hearts of Love Coffee. All those fun little, like conver almost conversation hearts on the coffee sleeve there. And then uh, here's another one if you're into cups and mugs and that kind of thing. This was a uh, cup of love. Got a little um, cute little teacup there and there's a tea bag um, and the tag has a heart on it. Here is Love Latte. So I, I must have been in a beverage mood here when I pulled out these stamps. Love Latte. And then I was going to use um, my uh, Christmas country shelf uh, in the Christmas season. And so I thought, well, I might as well pull out mom's country shelf too. It's got some hearts on it. That would be good for Valentine's day and uh, not so lovey dovey, but still with the hearts in it, uh, it's just representative of the season. So that's mom's country shelf. And then here is be mine, be mine banner. Some bumblebees. And then the banner reads be mine. Cute. And let's see, I did pull out a couple of sentiments. Um, how wonderful life is with you in my world. And this stamp is called My World. Then I grabbed Happy Spring. And it is a good day to have a good day. So I might thought those might be a couple cute sentiments to use for Valentine's Day. So that's more of like a Galentine's Day, not so lovey-dovey. And then I did pull out my favorite Montana Sweetheart stamp. And to maybe add some interest to my backgrounds. And then I pulled out Salutations as well. So just for another option to put some interest in the background. So um, I'll put a link to Whippersnapper's website down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but uh, just thought I would pull those out and share with you some of the stamps that I'm going to be using in the next uh, few days here to see about making some um, January, February cards. And then um, I w enjoyed sharing these cards with you. I hope you enjoyed them and maybe you're inspired. I know I am. I really love this image. It makes me want to um, stamp some images and paint them. And... Uh, this card it was so easy to put together. It makes me just want to grab out my punches and some pattern paper and make a bunch of these different cards. And then, of course, the uh, quilt block dies are always so fun to use. So this one is inspiring as well. And uh, die cut words are so easy and fun to use. So anyways, those are some fun things to share with you. I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.